Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Tonight in the Black Box Theater, you can attend Zalia Maya's senior capstone stand-up show, Diary of a Coddled Feminist. Nice! In other news... Last Wednesday was a senior college decision day, but it was also our county's own annual law day at the Old Superior Courthouse. This year's theme was an especially timely and relevant one, free speech, free press, and free society. Law Day gave high school students the opportunity to tour the courthouse, view a thematic performance by PVPA students, and participate in lively discussion with a First Amendment attorney, a federal court judge, and our very own district attorney, David Sullivan. To see the action for ourselves, we headed down to the courthouse and spoke with participants. I'm a lawyer at a firm called Prince Lobel in Boston, where I practice First Amendment law. I represent newspapers and magazines and broadcasters to help them report the news. Great, thank you. So what do you think is the significance of an event like this to the community? Well, this is Law Day, not a holiday that's well recognized in the community, but it's every May 1st, and the intent of Law Day is to help people celebrate the rule of law in our country, and in fact what courts and judges and lawyers do. Well, I don't think we can uh, emphasize or remind ourselves often enough how important the rule of law is and how uh, it serves to nurture people's creative spirits and their individuality, uh, particularly as expressed through the First Amendment, emphasizes the right of people to express themselves, uh, to come together to petition government, the right of a free press, such as what we're doing right now. I represent newspapers to help them report the news. So I review their stories in advance and see if they defame anybody. Do they say something that might be false? I also help get access to government information that the government wants to keep secret. So for example, I intervene to unseal court records in secret cases that are important. And I bring lawsuits under the Freedom of Information Acts that, uh, for documents that the government would rather keep secret. Thank you. And so why is something like that important to our young generation? Well, student journalists report really important news all over the country. There was one student journalism team recently that uncovered that their school superintendent had inflated her credentials and gotten the job based on lies about degrees she didn't have. The school superintendent lost her job about that. Students have First Amendment rights that are protected by the courts. In fact, part of what I'm going to talk about today is how I brought a lawsuit against my own school district when I was in high school and won. Uh, and so students have free speech rights, they should use them, and in fact young people are creating incredible political change in our country right now, whether you consider the, the Parkland high school students or people who are affiliated with Black Lives Matter, they're doing great things with their free speech rights and every student should exercise theirs. Our uh, goal is to preserve the liberties that we have today for uh, people your age and younger who are going to be uh, moving into central roles in our community. We want people first to enjoy the same liberties that I had, and we also want them to respect and protect those liberties for others uh, as the years unfold. Great, thank you so much. Thank right. you so much. Thanks, nice meeting you. Thanks for watching. Seniors have only 13 more days of school. We've almost made it. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye.